and today we're going to work on the clock choke. Right? So I've got Marisol here, she's in turtle, right? and from here, so once you get the turtle, once you get this position, holding the position is important. Uh, if you start, if you hold the position, you start reaching over. I don't want to reach all the way through. If I start reaching through, it's easy for her to reach up and try to roll me. So instead, when I get here, I like to put my knee right here at her knee. Right? Because that way, when we're here, she can't lift her knee up. If she does lift her knee up, I'm lift her knee up. I can follow behind it, right? So I can kind of keep it down. You can put your knee on the inside, which I'll do that sometimes too, especially as I start to chase and go. But you need my knee right here. Once I'm here, I like to put my hand kind of the back. Then I'm going to reach this hand inside. And I'm going to start digging for this collar right here. Once I get here, there's several different ways to clock choke. You can reach at the knee, you can reach inside, you can reach for the other collar. But I'm just going to reach inside from here. And once I know that I'm going to go, I'm going to reach inside. So from here, I put my knee on the inside. I'm going to post my other knee up. I'm going to drop my ribs. My ribs are going to go across and my hip is going to go down here. Kind of locks in. So as I go here, I'm going to slide my foot up. My hips down. I'm gonna drop my hip in. I'm gonna lean my head. I'm gonna start to walk. So she taps. Okay. So she taps. That's pretty quick. You get the pop choke. Pop choke goes pretty fast. So once we're here again, I'm gonna reach in. I have my hand to the back. I'm not reaching all the way in. Not until I'm ready. But I'm gonna reach with this hand inside the collar, and the other hand's gonna reach right here. Okay. I like to hit this part right here, curling. I make my fingers like a karate chop. Once I get here, I'm going to curl in, I'm going to drop my head to the mat and my hip to go over her shoulder. So I'm going to go head to the mat, my hip drops to the shoulder, and I'm just going to walk and then pull until she taps. Okay. When I'm doing this, relax, when I'm doing this in here and I grip, I'm letting, I'm not yanking my arm, I'm keeping my arm steady and I'm walking all the way around. When you do the clock choke right, you won't, be able to, you won't be able to walk all the way around. You, your partner will tap. And when you do the clock choke correctly, it'll come so fast that sometimes someone might pass out pretty quick. So this one, this one you can catch your partner with pretty quick, especially if you start running fast. But once I grab this collar here, I don't want to grab really shallow. In fact, the deeper I grab, the better. But sometimes you can't grab that deep, so grabbing Right here is good. All right, so I'm gonna grip right here at the hand. I kind of collapse the hand, put my head in, I lock my hip down, I'm gonna walk. She's already tapping. The clock choke comes super fast. It's an effective choke. Uh, it's an easy way to get somebody out of there real quick, especially when they turn their back. You just have to make sure that when you clock choke, that you can't let them turn. And what that means is when I hit this clock choke here, she's gonna try and turn towards me. If she turns towards me, even if she just drops to her side, drop to her side, she stopped the clock choke. Okay? So come back. So what I have to do is my pressure has to be on the shoulder. So when I grab this, I have to put pressure on the shoulder. So I'm putting my ribs into her shoulder and all this collapsing. I won't even choke her yet. I'm just trying to collapse in that. See, it drops her arm. Her arm starts to collapse here. So that way, once I get here and I start to choke, then I can go ahead and go over. Okay? I can keep going and finish. So putting that pressure, so putting that pressure in my ribs here, without choking her, I'm doing this. And I'm putting my weight down, and then I drop my head over. My head has to go down. If my head is up, she's gonna get out. And my head has to be down, so that keeps her head down. All right, so those are really important details of the clock choke. Making sure that my pressure is here, it drops down, and my head goes over. I see people do the clock choke sometimes, and they do this, whether it's here or here, they go like this, and they leave their head up. The problem is she can turn towards me. Turn towards me, and then, right. I may end up in top side, but I'm not gonna choke her. So make sure that your pressure's here, hip goes over top, so you're putting the weight here, hip goes over top, and your head goes down. Okay. So anyhow, thank you guys for stopping by. We'll see you next time.